Hey, what's happening guys? Welcome back to Gadgets Portal. Today I'm gonna do a very interesting speed test in between these two smartphones here. On my right I have the all new Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus. It's by far the best Android phone you can go for right now. It's beauty and power in one. Now it's worth mentioning here, I've got for you the Samsung Exynos 9825 variant, not the Snapdragon 855 version. The smartphone on my left is of course the OnePlus 7 Pro, the biggest rival to this Note 10 Plus and it features Snapdragon 855 processor. Also it's the 8GB RAM variant with 256GB of storage and the Note 10 Plus comes with 12GB of RAM as standard. These two phones should be very close to each other in terms of processing power but to my surprise on 3 Mark Gamers Benchmark, Slingshot Extreme OnePlus 7 Pro scores much higher than its competitor here. The thing is Note 10 Plus is yet not officially available and I have encountered minor lag here and there on this smartphone so maybe the situation will improve over OT updates before the official release. You have one UI 1.5 on the Note and Oxygen OS 9.5.11 on the 7 Pro. Now in this speed test, I will be comparing the real life speed of the apps and games, their loading time and of course the RAM management. I want to quickly mention here that the screen resolution has been set to maximum and also it's worth mentioning here the screen refresh rate of the 7 Pro is 90Hz. Without any further ado, let's get started with the speed test. All the smart add-on features are disabled and there is no app running in the background. First, let's restart the devices and compare the boot time. Now it's almost impossible to tell which device turned off faster because the turning off process is still going on in the background. Let's quickly turn on the phones. Well, the Note 10 Plus is ready much before the 7 Pro, so definitely it's the winner. Now let's launch some system apps one by one. There you have the dialer and definitely OnePlus 7 Pro is much faster than the Note 10 Plus. Next let's try the messaging app and I think this might be a draw. Next let's check the default gallery apps and this time I think uh, Note 10 Plus is faster maybe because there is less number of photos and videos here. On the camera app I think the 7 Pro was slightly faster. The front camera mechanism of 7 Pro takes about half a second to fire up. So let's check the front camera speed and as you can see guys Note 10 Plus and OnePlus 7 Pro were neck to neck very very close we can call it a draw once again. Maybe Note 10 Plus is faster by few milliseconds. Next let's check YouTube. Once again very very close it's really hard to tell which device was faster. Let's try to play a video. I have started a new video series called Genius or Junk and I think this time as well they were very close. Let me try these tips and tricks on 7 Pro and once again they were almost neck to neck but I think maybe 7 Pro was momentarily quicker. The score right now is OnePlus 2, Samsung 2 and 2 draws. Next we have the Chrome browser so let's see what happens and once again OnePlus was faster by few milliseconds. Let's try to open one of these posts. It's clear that the Chrome browser on the 7 Pro is faster compared to the Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus. There you go. Let me quickly check the Play Store as well and this time the Samsung device wins. Next it's time for some third party apps. I will start with these shopping apps and Flipkart open quicker on the 7 Pro so another point for OnePlus and the Amazon app is also faster on the left device. Next there you have Paytm and this time the Note 10 Plus wins. Next let's try some social apps. I will start with Facebook. Once again the app loaded slightly faster on the OnePlus. Uh, there we have Twitter and 
The result is the same, OnePlus is really killing it. Despite being about 3 months old, it's almost as fast as any flagship, even faster, but this Instagram app opened quicker on this Samsung Note. Next, let's launch these Photoshop applications. Uh, I will start with the Photoshop Lightroom. Once again, the OnePlus flagship killer is the first device to load this app, so another point for OnePlus. Next app is Photoshop Sketch. Well, we can call it a draw, though maybe 7 Pro was slightly faster by a millisecond. Uh, there is Photoshop Mix and this time definitely the Samsung smartphone wins. Lastly, we have Photoshop Express. Though they were almost instantaneous, I will give the point to Samsung. So the final score is 7 Pro, 8, the Note 10 Plus, 7 and 3 ties. So kudos to OnePlus for such an amazing smartphone. Now the big question is what about games? I will play these 5 games one by one starting with PUBG Mobile. And we have the result, OnePlus 7 Pro is definitely a much faster device in loading this game and the Note 10 Plus is still struggling, there you go. So the big point goes to OnePlus. Of course the new Samsung Note is not a slow device but the thing is the 7 Pro is just too damn fast. There we have the Asphalt 9 and let's see if the situation improves for the Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus. Once again OnePlus 7 Pro is mercilessly killing the new Samsung Galaxy Note. So another point for the 7 Pro. So looks like the new 10 Plus might not be winning this speed test but uh, maybe the situation will improve after some OTA updates. I mean I've seen some lags in the camera especially in the wide angle and also some lags on the user interface. Let's see what happens in this game Brothers in Arms 3. Well as you can see Note 10 Plus is the winner in this game. Let's try a few more games before we conclude, there is Subway Surfers. There you go, OnePlus is back as the winner, so it's somewhat disappointing for the Samsung Note lovers. One thing I need to remind you that I have the Samsung Exynos variant, so that might be a factor, though the Exynos 9825 is very close to the Snapdragon 855. Uh, there is Pokemon Go and once again the OnePlus smartphone is the winner. So definitely in the gaming department, the new 2019 Samsung Note loses big time to the OnePlus 7 Pro and as I mentioned before, this Note 10 Plus might not be a ready product in terms of software. The stock UI like Oxygen OxygenWaze also helps here and let me now try the RAM management. Let's start with the gallery apps and as you can see guys, the gallery app reloaded on the 7 Pro. I already mentioned that you get 8GB RAM on the OnePlus and 12GB RAM on the Note 10 Plus and 8GB is already overkill for any smartphone. For some reason gallery app reloaded but the Chrome browser was ok still in the RAM. Now we have YouTube app and looks like both devices are reloading. Next let's check Flipkart and once again uh, it reloaded on both Note 10 Plus and 7 Pro. Looks like Facebook is still in the RAM of both devices. Well Instagram was refreshed on the 7 Pro. Let me check this Photoshop app, uh, Photoshop Mix and as you can see it reloaded on the 7 Pro. So looks like uh, the Note 10 Plus might have better RAM management, I mean the RAM is bigger. I have talked about this on my previous speed test. OnePlus basically restricts their RAM usage. Uh, there is no issue in this Photoshop app though. Let's now quickly check the games, uh, PUBG Mobile is still in the RAM of both Samsung and OnePlus, no issue in this game. Next we have Asphalt 9 and both devices are refreshing this game, so let's wait for a while. Now they are ready almost simultaneously. 
this is the last game I want to check and there is no issue it's still in the RAM so we are at the end of this video and OnePlus 7 Pro wins the speed test definitely there is no issue with this new Samsung flagship but the 7 Pro is a very snappy smartphone and the new Note 10 Plus just could not keep up Thanks a lot guys for watching this video, I hope that it was useful, do remember to check the speed test versus iPhone XS Max and also the battery charging and discharging speed tests. This is Shukesh signing off, don't forget to subscribe and share this video.